Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on, everyone? It's Ian K back again with another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews. Cheaters Camp style. After hours, back on over at Jack in the Box because after checking out their double chili cheeseburger recently, I noticed they also had some pretty tasty looking French toast sticks on the menu as well. And judging by this three piece order that I've got here right now, this actually kind of looks like the picture, guys. Nice and crispy. What we've got here are three pieces of French toast fried to a crispy golden brown. And I gotta say, they're looking really, really nice. Take a look at the texture on that. Nice color on this one. Very authentic. And the smell in the car, it's very reminiscent of funnel cake, believe it or not. This actually smells really good. And obviously with this being French toast, you gotta have some syrup to go with. And in this case, we've got some pancake syrup. So I'm really looking to get into this right now, guys, because it's looking pretty tasty. So let's not waste any more time on this one. It's the all new French toast sticks here at Jack in the Box. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, I have a feeling this is gonna be kind of a quick review. I mean, after all, it's just a French toast stick, but not just any French toast stick, a pretty well-made one, if you ask me, guys. Take a look at that golden color. The texture looks really, really nice. It's really crispy, and that smell in the car right now, that aroma is really coming up on like the funnel cake vibe that I'm getting here, and I'm really digging that. This actually looks really good. Okay, so real quick before I bite into this one, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Here we go, guys. We have got a very awesome looking, again, French toast stick. Although it doesn't have powdered sugar, I was really kind of hoping it would. Let's see how the flavor is going to be on this one. Let's do it. Mmm. Crispy. Ooh. That's a nice denseness. Wow, this is actually really good quality. Believe it or not, that funnel cake vibe is warranted because this really feels like funnel cake batter, guys. I mean, look at that on the inside. Let me try and focus that for you. It's very dense, very rich. And I have to admit, I'm really not missing the fact that this doesn't have powdered sugar, although I think that would be a nice add-on accent to this. But super crispy, and that flavor is nice. A little bit of cinnamon that I'm getting with this one. But man, if you're like in the mood for a funnel cake and you just want something quick to kind of, you know, scratch the itch, this is pretty good if you've got a jack in the area. These French toast sticks are pretty tasty. Let's go for another bite. Mmm, and they're crispy and crunchy. Can you hear that? That is really good. Yeah, I am already feeling this right now. This is actually really tasty. So let's see exactly how it's gonna be with some of their pancake syrup here. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty good. Hopefully it's gonna be not too sweet initially because that's actually got some pretty nice sweetness anyway because of the crispiness that it's got on top of it. But let's give this a go with the pancake syrup there. Look at that really soaks it up nicely nice situation could be a little bit thicker it's just a little bit watery as you can see there nothing really too overly thick but naturally that flavor i'm, I'm hoping it's going to be solid because the aroma you can really get that maple action coming through that actually smells really good let's do it oh yeah oh yeah that flavor is there very sweet on this though ma'am that's almost grit your teeth type of sweet I really wish it was dialed back just a little bit, but it's kind of overpowering the flavor of this, but the flavor is amazing together on it, guys. As you can see, a lovely situation on this one. Mmm, oh yeah, definitely a treat. Let me kill this last little piece here real quick. Mmm, yeah, that is really, really good. You know, if my memory serves me correctly, I've actually never seen French toast sticks here at Jack in the Box. I think it's the first time that they've had these. I could be wrong, so drop some comments down below if they've actually had these in the past. I've never done them, but I have actually done French toast sticks at other places, most notably BK and Carl's. And from what I remember, the BK one really wasn't that great, but the Carl's version, I think they were called French toast dips, actually had powdered sugar and they were very, very thick. And I really enjoyed that. So the powdered sugar really adds to these things actually. And I'm really surprised they don't actually have a little accent with this, but the flavor of what it offers in general really takes this one up a notch, really tasty guys. So let's go for another dip on this one, one final dip. And as you can see, again, not bad for a buck 50 guys. This is actually really tasty. And again, the thickness is on point with these here. Let's go for one more bite. Mm, gotta be careful with that syrup though. I wish it was a little bit thicker, but super sweet. But I'm not gonna hate on it too much because the flavor is pretty awesome. So guys, one final look at this one here. A very nice quality French toast stick. And I gotta say, a lovely situation here in terms of the overall crispiness 
And that vibe that I'm getting from funnel cakes, I got to tell you, is really there. So this is really scratching the itch for that. And I'm really digging the quality because as far as fast food French toast sticks are concerned, this is really delivering in terms of overall flavor. And that's really where it counts. Order on Uber Eats, Postmates, and Grubhub. Yeah, that's a pretty tasty little breakfast treat that's going to be available all day long here at Jack in the Box while this promo's going. But if you've got a little bit of a bigger appetite and want a little bit more, it's actually part of a jumbo breakfast platter that comes with your choice of either grilled sausage or hickory smoked bacon, along with some eggs and a hash brown. So guys, not bad for five bucks on that one. And considering it's a buck fifty for three of them, you're getting a pretty decent value for that five dollar promo. But I really wanted to give this a shot on its own to check out the quality, and I'm really glad that I did. I only wish it had a little bit of powdered sugar on the top, but honestly, guys, that's a little bit of a nitpick because the quality in general is solid. It's not trying to mask anything with the sugar if it had it, because on its own, it delivers. The flavor is good. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the French toast sticks here at Jack in the Box a pretty rock solid 9 out of 10. The only way that I can see to improve this one, aside from a little bit of powdered sugar as a little bit of an add-on, which would be nice, is to really dial back the sweetness of that syrup just a little bit and maybe make it just a little bit thicker. But as it stands, really on its own, guys, it's quality. As you can see that, the crispiness on the outside, I love the golden coating on it. And overall, it's dense and it's got a funnel cake vibe that I absolutely appreciate because I love funnel cake. So I'm easily gonna be getting this one again as a snack, guys. A buck fifty for three of those, all day long. Pretty good. All right, two quick questions for you. First and foremost, are you a breakfast person? Because if you are, I think you're gonna dig these, honestly. Drop some comments down below. How do you feel about French toast in general? Is it one of your favorite items you like to get at breakfast? Or are you more of a pancake person? Drop those comments down below and let me know. And aside from that, if you've got Jack in the Box in the area, are you gonna be giving this one a shot? I'm very curious to know, so do me a quick favor. Light up that comment section down below and let me know what's up. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So wait, stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yeah, I should have rocked the six piece with this, but you know what? I can always go back. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.